thanks to some clever developers, it is now possible to use an NVIDIA Pascal card with an eGPU setup in macOS 10.13.4. Check it out. So this is my GTX 1050 Ti. Unfortunately, I don't have anything more powerful than this when it comes to NVIDIA Pascal cards. However, this will do for this test. And the test that I'm about to perform is to run a script that's been posted over at eGPU.io. Definitely recommend you check those guys out because this is the source to go to for all the low level eGPU information pertaining to Windows and Mac. But basically what this script does is force macOS to recognize these unsupported NVIDIA cards, among other things. It also allows for Thunderbolt 2 eGPU support. So this will help those users that don't yet have Thunderbolt 3 enabled Macs. Now, in this case, I've connected my Sonnet eGraphics breakaway box with a GTX 1050 Ti inside. I've connected the Thunderbolt 3 cable and nothing happens. And that's simply because macOS does not officially support NVIDIA based eGPUs. So that's where this handy script comes in. So I'm going to unplug the Thunderbolt 3 cable. This is actually a fresh install of macOS 10.13.4. You want to make sure you back up before you do anything. And you also need to disable SIP before proceeding. And then you just want to open up a terminal window to execute the script. Now, again, the script has lots of different options and flags. So you want to check the link down below in the description. I've customized this for my particular setup. Yours could be different. So keep that in mind. All right. So I have it in there and now I just hit return on my keyboard and then select yes to agree to the license terms. All right. And just let it run. I sped this up a little bit. It does take a while. You can see it's going through downloading the drivers, enabling the NVIDIA eGPU, patching 10.13.4. And again, this has been sped up a bit just to get through it. It will take you a little bit longer, so just be patient. All right, once you reach this point, you can just press return, get back to your prompt, and then you simply restart. All right. So once we come back up, you should see where the NVIDIA drivers have been installed, the web drivers, and that should be available in the menu bar and also in uh, system preferences as well. But you should see, there you go, in the menu bar, you see that right there, that is the NVIDIA web driver. All right, so that's a good sign. So that means that the drivers were installed and now it's time to connect the eGPU to your Mac with the Thunderbolt cable. So I'm going to do that right now. Now, one note is that I have unplugged my external display from the eGPU itself uh, because otherwise it resulted in a kernel panic for me. So just something to keep in mind that may apply to you. It may not. Now you do see the eGPU menu bar icon, but it says no. So what I'm going to do is restart. And this will just take a second. And once we're back up, you should see where everything looks gravy. So it should show you the GTX 1050 Ti in the menu bar. So let's check all that out right now. First of all, let's go up to the uh, Apple menu about this Mac and see, yes, we do see it right there. Graphics, Nvidia, GeForce, GTX 1050 Ti, four gigabyte card. All right, system reports, graphics and displays. All right, there you go. The 1050 Ti is listed there and running at 4K at 60 Hertz on the external display, which is cool. So everything looks good so far. So let's go up to the menu bar this time so we can check out the NVIDIA driver manager, open up the preferences. We can check to make sure we're running the latest web driver. This version here that you see as of this date is the latest version. Everything looks good there. All right, and then we can click our eGPU little menu bar icon. And yes, now it says NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. Now, if you try to disconnect using this, I have experienced kernel panics. Again, this script is an alpha. It isn't perfect. There are bugs. And frankly, it could break your system or it could break your install rather. So in other words, proceed at your own risk and definitely read the instructions. 
before proceeding because there's lots of little flags and options that you can configure based on your particular use case and based on your system. So I'm running several benchmarks like Heaven, Valley, and Cinebench, and I was really impressed by the performance of this 1050 Ti. Um, performance was better than an RX 580, and it didn't get outright mauled by the Vega 64. In fact, it, it performed pretty good, in my opinion, for a 1050 Ti. Uh, obviously, a 1080 or a 1080 Ti is gonna perform much better, but even with the 1050 Ti, you get significantly increased OpenGL gaming performance when compared to your integrated graphics that Iris Pro on the 13-inch 2017 MacBook Pro. So, Obviously, this big guy right here will perform better, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think about NVIDIA support in macOS just overall. Is it something that excites you? Do you care? Do you not care? Sound off down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.